Scientists measuring sea ice coverage on the planet say the amount of the ice in the Arctic Sea this year is cause for alarm. As our Brian Sherman reports, it was the sixth lowest on record. I guess the key message here is that to, to protect these frozen parts of the world that are really important for a whole number of reasons, we really need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. We need to reduce them as much as we can, as fast as we can. And those gas emissions are just one thing that is helping the Earth to have another month of record-setting temperatures across the globe. This according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. NOAA says that August was the hottest August ever recorded, since records date back 174 years. This after a record temperature was set across the world in July as well. The average global inland temperature was 62.3 degrees, which is two degrees higher than the average August temperature during the 20th century. But even with these new records, researchers say there is still time to counteract these climate changing effects. And it's also important to note that the sort of future that we have, the amount of warming that we have is actually still in our hands. So there's a lot that we can do. NOAA says that August marked the 534th consecutive month at temperatures have soared above the average, and that is causing some concern about the amount of ice around the globe as well. The amount of sea ice coverage on the planet was at its lowest level on record for the fourth consecutive month, dropping to 1.63 million square miles. In fact, ice cover in the Arctic shrank between March and September as well, enough ice lost to cover the entire continental United States. We've heard these, these stories about the penguins um, and they're awful, but let's take this, this awful information and, and let's make changes um, because we can really still make a difference to the future. Researchers say that sea ice is important to polar ecosystems and is a significant factor of the global climate, which is changing due to the warming of our atmosphere. So there's a lot that we can do. Um, these climate stories can sometimes feel really overwhelming. And while it may feel overwhelming, just the simplest thing we can do can play a part in the much larger picture to protect our planet. Reporting from Detroit, I'm full warn meteorologist Brian Sherman, Local 4. Well, on the other side of the world, ice growth in the Antarctic just saw record low growth.